Welcome back. Season one of Mayor of Kingstown is wrapping up on Paramount+. Plus. If you've not seen this yet, calling it gritty would be an incredible understatement. With us today is one of the linchpins of the story, actor Emma Laird, who plays Iris in the drama. Welcome to Ozarks Live, Emma. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank you for having me. I, I have to ask you. You're you're relatively new to the to to acting. How did you land this whale? This is an incredible story. I know. I don't know. I um, I everything just started happening last January about a year ago, and um, I'd not done anything before. I'd uh, I, I everything. I started to get some projects. I got a Netflix movie, and I got a Nolan series, and a wonderful um, a wonderful another show on Amazon, and. Um, I dropped them all for this because this show just was something else really completely. Uh, and Taylor Sheridan, I'd auditioned for Yellowstone the year before. So I'd binge watched that show. I was a fan of his work and I knew uh, that Jeremy was attached at the time. So I got the audition in and uh, uh -huh. I took many risks <laughs> and I ended up getting it, which I'm thankful for. So it, it, well, um, yeah. You I mean, of course, acting many times is just taking risks. So it it looks as though this risk has has paid off incredibly for you. Now the show is kind of a commentary on the prison system. Yet when I watch it, it seems like everyone in the show is in some form of prison, whether inside or outside the walls. Yeah, I think that's a big theme, and I think you really see it with Jeremy's character as well. It's um, it's just this battle of. I think there might have been a line in the series at some point. I might be making this up about you're, you're all in. You know, I've probably made it up, but you're all in your own kind of prison in in your mind, and um, you really see those battles outside the prison as well as inside. And it's really this ethical uh, question of who's the bad guy in this. I mean, of course, the criminals are criminals, but you really see some sketchy things going on, and everyone's trying to do the best in their situation and. I mean, my character particularly is really not equipped for this world. It's really um, a scary place to be as a young woman. And uh, you soon see that with the that she goes through. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's all about just trying to survive in what is a very dismal and scary town. Well, explain Iris a, a bit, if you would, because she seems to be one of the people who are in a prison outside the wall. Yeah. And she really, I, you know, for me, it was building a backstory outside of the script. And so for me, it just seemed like my, my so I'm, Iris comes into Kingstown. Um, her boss is Milo serving a life sentence in one of the prisons and she's a sex worker. And the way that I kind of portrayed it was that she was she that was the best decision for her that was the one of the best choices that she could have made in her situation when she was she came from new york and milo would have provided some kind of security with money or you know whatever and so it's uh, that whole theme again of trying to just survive in in a man's world and um she comes in and she it soon really just goes downhill and she, you really start to see how she is owned by people and she is used as an object and um She's trying to, and it's a really nice ending that she's kind of manages to get out of that somewhat and start to create her own life and make her own decisions and, and yeah. but also have to deal with all the stuff that she goes through in Kingstown. It's really, really dark and a harrowing. Su a surprisingly very, well, uh, she's surprisingly a very strong person underneath what seems to be, you know, just kind of a, a weaker exterior. She's incredibly strong is what it looks like. Well, I'm glad that you say that. Is that was my fear. My fear was really that she would be perceived as weak and broken and just like a little girl in a man's world. And I really like that makes me so happy that you say that because I do think there's strength in her. But you also, you know, she's just got to deal with all of this stuff and get over that. And that takes time. And um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes me so happy you said that. <laughs> well, that's quite all right, because at first when you see her before things really start developing, you there's a little menace in her character. You're not sure where she's going with all of this. So it, it's it's a great riddle that you're giving everybody and with with season one, you know, wrapping up. What are your hopes for season two? Well, if there is a season two, I will hope I just hope she has some strength. I said to Taylor, I was like, man, I want her to I want her to kill some people like I want her to have <laughs> She needs revenge. She wants, I want her to be 
one of the men because she's strong and I want to play with that. And, you know, she she wants revenge. And um, I think she should turn into the biggest ever. We'll see if anyone anyone listens to me. But <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> well, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> from from your mouth to God's ear, I hope that you find what you want. It's a wonderful role. You are incredible to watch in uh, Mayor of Kingstown. And thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. All right. Mayor of Kingstown, you can see it on Paramount+. Plus.